I know what you're thinking. You're thinking. Wait a minute. This was supposed to be a fountain pen review. Well, try not to panic. Or maybe just a little bit. Who are you? Oh, wait, uh, hey, hey, hey. Dude, come on. No, 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 don't do the door closing thing. All right, look. I'm gonna need you to shut up now. Who I am is not important. The only thing that's important is what I need. And I need you to tell me stuff. Hey, but if I answer your questions, how do I know if this isn't just gonna end badly for me anyway? Well, I guess you don't know. You're just gonna have to trust me. This here, I need information on this here pen right here, right now. And I want you to start with the background information. Start talking. I'll tell you something. Your mother spreads her legs like a cheap flex nib. Fair enough. Good familiar. Nice pen. This is how I get you to talk. This is all your joy. You let this happen. You could have stopped this. This shouldn't have to happen. If you don't tell me what I want. I'm mean, gonna have no choice but to do whatever it takes to get All to right. the top. Start talking. All your Viscontis are coming up next. Once again, background information. Let's start with the Conklin brand. When were they established? The brand was established in 1898. Go on, who established it? I want names. It was started by a guy named. Come on. <sighs> it's useless without names. Roy Conklin. And what makes this man, Roy Conklin, so special? He was the one who developed the first pen that filled itself. People didn't have to go dipping and writing, dipping and writing, and carry a bottle of ink. What else did he invent? He invented all kinds of filling mechanisms, like the crescent filler. He also invented the piston filler. So that makes them a good brand? It was, a, it was a good brand. It was... Finish your sentence. He was like the Steve Jobs of fountain pens. Why do you say that? He was an innovator. Give me an example. There was a pen in the 30s called the Nozak. It was a play on words. What's that supposed to mean? I guess people didn't... want to walk around calling people... no sack. Watch it. So they changed the words to Nozak. Oh, I see. But didn't they go out of business eventually? When was it? 1955. 1955 what? Be clear. Don't be vague. They went under. Say, not so hard. I need some more information. Talk to me about stuff that's neutral about this pain. What do you, what do you mean? Is that some kind of weird crocodile Dundee talk? Are you giving me attitude? Okay then, Visconti's at ease. Okay, 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 okay. You know, wait, I wait, always wait. love Visconti. The homo no, sapiens would be okay. ashamed to see Neutral it smashed. Stuff. No problem. Start with the nib. Stop stalling. The nib on this pen. The nib on that pen. Okay, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is a German Yovo number six stainless steel nib? Why on earth is this logo here? What is this? It's Brian Gouley's. Online. Why on earth is Conklin putting another brand inside of the pens? Why does Conklin put... Because... Because... I don't know. They worked it out with him. They respect him. I don't know. They like him. So they, 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 they know he's... He's solid, so they put in his nib because he asked them to. Not just because he asked them to. What makes this pen special that he gets his own nib? Conklin agreed to put it into the pen because... Because it's, it's a Goulet exclusive. Go on. 
Don't hold back. Tell me who designed the pen. It was Brian, wasn't it? He, uh... Obviously had input in the design. How often does he make these pains? Only does these for like a limited run. He oh oh okay okay relax. I am relaxed. Keep going. Uh, What's the model called? This one is called the Conklin Classic. Why is it called that? Because this is the next Nighthawk, but they just didn't call it the Nighthawk because because it didn't look like one. So they 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 called it the Conklin Classic. I guess because it looks more classic. I mean, hey, I, hey, hey, this isn't mate, a name, a hey, Nighthawk, but it is mate, in spirit. I'm just messing with you, having me some fun. Tell me what they intended to call it. They were going to call it the Ebon Nighthawk. <laughs> the Ebon Nighthawk. That would have been cool. Says who? I think. So why didn't they? But they couldn't do it because it didn't look Nighthawk enough. All right then. Move on. Talk about the design of the body. It's got a. It's got a tube-like. Slight tapered cylindrical body. I can see that. Now, look at what it's made of. It's not resin. Was it ebonite that this was made of? Yeah, it's made, it's, it's made of ebonite. It's got a flat top and flat bottom. Just a slight curve at the ends. What kind of clip is this? It's your standard Conklin rocker clip. Talk about the filling mechanism. It's a... Uh, Cartridge converter filled. It has the ability to be eye dropped. It's pretty much the same size and specs as Endurograph, the other Nighthawks, the Conklin Word Gauge. And the whole thing is packaged like any other Conklin pen is packaged. It comes in the uh, fake leather box, it comes with a couple of cartridges in the converter. Don't treat me like I'm an idiot. I know you're leaving something out. Speak about what this one is called. Harvest Yellow. And where did they make this pen? They were made in Italy. It seems like you're a little bit on the slow side. So I'm going to explain this to you nice and easy. Talk to me about the good. You want me to tell you about what's good? What is it that you like about this pen? The nip is fantastic. The nib is unscrewable as a unit and you can pull it out and you can even switch it out with another number six, but I can't see why you would. How wet is the nib? It's moderately wet. It's not really dry, but it, it has a slight amount of feedback. They're pretty smooth. Why is the grip section so hard to unscrew? If you unscrew the grip section, you're going to notice it's really tight. The reason there's an o-ring halfway down on the last part of the threaded area, it really seals it off. It stops at any type of leaking. And there's no infinial that screws on or off, so it's a sealed pen. I like that attention and meticulous care for detail. You're being a good boy. Now I want you to discuss the ebonite. The ebonite is, is, uh, is a unique pattern. It's not generic in the same way that you would kind of see in like a noodler's. But this one is polished so well. I love it. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love it. I really, I really liked the look and feel in the design of the Conklin Demonstrator limited edition with the full flex, but the flex nib sucked and I didn't like how short the clip was. I hope he gets one made with the same clear blue demonstrator, clear with the gold center pan and the longer clip. That's why I got this one. But now that I got it, I like it for its own qualities. It has its own qualities that makes it good. I like this pen a lot. This is a great pen. The build quality is fantastic. It's made with very good quality care and quality control standards. Everything is neatly polished. Everything on this pen is perfect. I can't find anything that is not acceptable. I think since this pen comes to the lifetime warranty, people don't have to worry about security. All you do is email Yaffa. They send you some form, you fill it out and you mail it in and that's all there is to it. They take care of it. Now, I need the bed. Let's talk coin. Let's talk coin? What, what, are, you, what are you, Super Mario? I mean, what, what do you mean talk coin? Coin? You don't know what it means? Money, finances, things like that. Speak! I don't, I don't have anything to say. That's bad. That's not enough! I just told you that the whole pen is awesome. Fine then! Now talk about the ugly then. I don't, I don't understand ugly. What do you mean? 
aesthetics, defects, things like that. Now start talking. I can't. Why not? Because there just is nothing ugly about this man. Oh, it sounds like Wifey just came home. Don't, 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 don't,